you are asking your daughter has psychosis how can you be peaceful can we state the question differently my daughter has psychosis therefore i cannot be peaceful there are two parts which are divided by the word therefore some other similar examples could be my husband does not love me therefore i am not peaceful my children don't obey therefore i am not peaceful my friend ditched me therefore i am not peaceful my boss has not given me the raise in salary therefore i am not peaceful look over all these thoughts again how do we bring about a connection with therefore what is this therefore it's only a thought in the mind the connection is a mental formation and we believe this mental formation to be real if you remove this therefore what will happen my daughter has a problem period my children don't obey period my husband does not love me period my friend disrespects me period my boss does not approve of what i do period this is the reality but there is a belief in my mind that this reality is not good good enough a right that belief is also a mental formation who would i be without the thought that the reality should be different let me ask myself who would i be without the thought that the reality should be different acceptance flows the mind gets centered the experience of the moment is beautiful i choose to go with the flow and 
how would I feel toward my daughter then? I would love her. I would help her. But not from a state of disturbance. Rather, from a state of peace. What do I prefer? I have to help her in any case, whether I do it from a painful state or from a peaceful state. That's the choice I have to make. When I allow myself to get disturbed by the reality, I become good for nothing. I become an ordinary mortal living in this planet. When I allow myself To disconnect to stop resisting to start accepting I become a Buddha just because I don't like it it is not a sufficient reason that the reality will change. It's not a necessary reason. Normally, the reality remains the same. And I get disturbed also. I have been told time and again that problems are bad. Problems should not be there in life. Life should be smooth. Let me question whether these thoughts are true. Let me give myself the freedom to question what I have been taught. I realize that these beliefs are absurd. What are considered as problems by most people will always be there. There will be sickness. There will be hospitalization. There will be losses. There will be failures. But they will not touch me. They will be innocuous, harmless. I will be able to use them as opportunities to practice my truth, to practice peace and love and equanimity and selfless service and freedom from the restlessness and pains in my mind. I'll do so much good in this society. I'll be a walking Buddha, freedom personified.
I'll be wholeness personified. I'll radiate the light of love and completeness everywhere. I'll be a source of unblemished love for my daughter. When I will serve her, when I will help her, it will be from a state of love, not from a state of pain. It should not be there is pain. Acceptance and doing one's best is peace. Please think, please meditate, please raise yourself by yourself, please help yourself first and then you will be a great source of inspiration a great source of selflessness to everybody around you, to your daughter also. Thank you. Bless you.